I have a couple questions regarding yeah. being 24 seven. Cause I know that's, that's a big debate in the industry. And I mean, it that's is. been a debate in our own business. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. We originally were all, we were 24 seven in all of mm-hmm. our locations or our initial locations. And we've had to kind of step back and not be in some of them mm-hmm. because of some yeah. of the things that happened there. Of course. <laughs> yes, of course. So, um, <laughs> we do still have one location that's 24 seven, but for us, it has road. It's right on a busy road. It's across from a police station. Like, you know, things like that. What made you decide to go 24 seven? Have you had Mm -hmm. any issues? And then the other question is, do you leave the bathrooms open? Oh boy. Yeah. (laughs) So, uh, no, the bathrooms are never, ever, ever left open. That is a big no, no. They always are locked. When you leave, that's the first thing you lock when you're going up the door, the bathrooms never stay open. Mm -hmm. Three of our locations in Taunton, they're all 24 hours it was a conversation that we had. It was like, do we do it? Do we not? We spoke to a few other people and it was like, well, let's give it a shot. The worst that can happen is, you know, who knows someone spray paint something on the wall or God knows what, and, um, kind of go from there. And we've been 24 hours, I'd say for at least probably eight years now. And it's, it's worked out well. Um, don't get me wrong. There are going to be issues. There are going to be phone calls late at night. There are going to, in the, that's just the industry. And it's like, there are going to be homeless people that go in there, they hang out, they sleep under the table or the, you know, I've had, I, I've probably had two or three big incidents. And it's funny because I joke with people all the time. It's like, and our biggest thing is all these stores camera systems that are, I would say bank grade quality. Mm -hmm. I mean, these people couldn't roll across the floor without being seen. Mm -hmm. And they're all high def cameras, all IP can be seen from your phone, seen from your laptop. And it, that's the number one key. I would say if you're going to do 24 seven security has to be to the max, Mm -hmm. you have to have cameras. They have to be visible. You have to have them working all the time because it's going to be the confidence of the customer coming in and say, I have people come in or, you know, people will lose something and they'll post something on a Facebook group inside the town. And they'll be like, Oh, call Matt. They have cameras there that you can see anything in there. And it's like a, it's almost like a deterrent because people know at this point. And it's crazy because there's been incidents where stuff has happened and I will pull up their fast card on the system and sometimes they're registered and they have a telephone number. I'll call them up and I'll say, Hey, you were in our store last night. Um, you took someone's dryer that didn't belong to you. I'd appreciate if you bring it back. And they're like, uh, how, how'd you get my number? <laughs> and I was like, it, it's all, it's, you registered your card. So I'd appreciate if you bring it back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's like, get some. And they're I've, like, I don't think shocked. I've ever heard that before. That's, that's yeah, hilarious. it's shot and it's, yeah. it's shocking, but there's, you know, people will leave trash around. I've had homeless people go in there and do things that they're not supposed to do. And I joke because it's like, I could make an Instagram page of reels Mm -hmm. and reels of things that of people sleeping, doing, you know, God knows what you can only imagine in these places (laughs) at night. But I would say 80% of what happens is harmless. It's just maybe a little bit extra cleaning. And I do get a strong response from people that do appreciate having the doors open for third shift for, you know, everything else, graveyard shifts and coming in early when it's quiet and they, you know, keep to themselves and everything else. So it's worked out for us. And I, I probably, if I was to do it over, I'd still do it again. Do you get enough business overnight to make it worth it to have that many locations open 24 seven? Cause I know for yeah. us, that was part of it too, is, is we've kind of sent all that business. Cause ours are like yours. Ours are fairly close together. So yeah. all of our overnight kind of go to one location, but for you, mm-hmm. they're busy enough, even at all the different ones. Yeah. I would say it's, it's nice too, because the fast card system, you know, they kind of revamp things too. So they have like a centralized dashboard now where like you pull up the dashboard and it'll show you your sales per hour throughout the entire day as like a combined effort across all your locations. So it's been, it's been really great to be able to see all of that and see that it it is beneficial. It is profitable. Um, 
and basically to have it. And it's not always like, you know, someone's going to come in at two o'clock and do laundry. You know, a lot of these stores that close early, they have last wash. So you're really out anyone coming in to wash from maybe seven until 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you close the doors at nine, you're going to have to account for that last wash. So we found it to work out well. And um, it's nice that the attendant doesn't have to linger around if the place is packed. They just go over to the gate, turn the key, and it goes down. They're out the door. You know, sometimes people are hanging around because it took them longer to dry and, you know, it took them this or that. And, you know, it's, it's, it, it's worked out for us. 